If you are a Lightroom user and have been waiting for On One Photo Raw, then there's good news. Well, one, the pre-release is out, which means anybody who pre-ordered On One Photo Raw can download the software and test the public beta. Now, there's a lot of things that are still not done in the beta, um, but it is coming along nicely. Uh, now, I, uh, for example, I did have some issues and uh, it took them a while to figure out what the cause of my issues were. And then finally they figured it out. The cause was actually from uh, my Nikon D810 with images converted to DNG through Lightroom were actually causing trouble inside of On One Photo Raw. But fortunately, I now am using a Nikon DF so I can test with that camera. So I wanted to show you that how fast On One Photo Raw is. First of all, look how fast this is when I just browse through the thumbnails. Now think about how slow Lightroom is to do this. This is like 500, 600, uh, 493 photos total. And uh, I can just browse through them so fast. I can, I can show this style, like, you know, like the little browser at the bottom and scroll through them so fast that way. Um, it's just, it's extremely fast. Now, again, they're having trouble with DNGs, so it's not perfect right now with DNGs. Um, but, and a lot of my photos are DNGs, but you know, you, you get the picture. Now, if I show you, let's say, here are a bunch of NEF files. You can see that all the EXIF data is actually showing right away, no problem. But I also want to show you, um, before I, uh, this is going to be for a bunch of different tutorials I'm doing on um, these three galleries right now, but before I even get to that, I just want to sh try to show you um, real quick how fast it is to edit a raw file. So here I am inside of a DNG that is working. Now again, this is also from my Nikon DF. Oddly enough, some of them are working, some of them are not. Again, this is something that they're working on to fix in uh, before the actual release. But you can see here, I have a, a DNG file. Um, it is a raw file from the Nikon DF and it's a 46.2 megabyte file, okay? This is a big raw file. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the exposure and look how fast that adjusts. It's real time, right? It is really fast. I can adjust the contrast, same thing. It's in real time. If I wanna bring up the shadows, I can do that. Uh, I can adjust the structure, make it feel like it's crispy. I can go ahead and I can add in um, some color adjustments, some glow, all in real time. It is amazing how fast you can do things with, uh, with On One Photo Raw. I can go ahead and add some other effects. Let's do a split tony effect and let's do some teal, right? So you can go ahead and add all of these really, really fast. Okay, and it's all not destructive. If I was to um, exit out of this develop module and go back into browse, in, uh, in the, my finder in my, on my Mac, you actually see in the folder, you will see a sidecar file because I enabled sidecar files, which you can do under preferences. And then under preferences, you can actually go to files and save on one sidecar files for non-destructive edits and metadata. This is an important thing. This is one of the, reasons to switch to On One Photo Raw from Lightroom is it's fast and it's non-destructive. So you wanna make sure this is enabled so you take advantage of that non-destructive feature. Um, so you can also, just like you can do everything else, you can do local adjustments. So you can add brushes and you can do touch-ups and every little bit is non-destructive. So I can add a layer and mask it away uh, using you know brushes and gradients and, and all that kind of fun stuff, all non-destructive. Now here's a cool thing. I can go back to browse. I can take this edit that I just did here. And uh, if I show you, let's just do this so you can see it right there. Now I'm, I can go ahead and I can actually um, copy the settings and then I can select all these others that are down here in this carousel. And I can actually paste all of those settings. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the settings. And now I can choose, I want all my settings that I've done. And it all, you're gonna see all these are gonna turn green in a second. Now, again, it's gonna take a little bit. My computer is cranking away because I'm also recording. Plus, this is a DNG, which is acting kind of funky. Um, if I was to do the NEF file, uh, it would be much faster. If I was to do a JPEG, obviously it would be super fast, but you get the idea. So look, they're all turning green. This is all non-destructive. It's a beautiful thing. So that's a quick preview of On One Photo Raw, and I can't wait to dive in more. And if you'd like to uh, check out my course which I'm going to be working on and going to be releasing it's going to be called camera to completion on one photo raw workflow and it's going to be my entire workflow from camera to delivery to either my website to a book to a print 
or to my client all through on one photo raw and that will be available uh, i'm just waiting i want to work on this once the release is finally done they and they touch on all the issues with the dngs again this is a pre-release this is a beta it is not available to use in your live catalog yet and actually no catalog because this doesn't need a catalog that's an extra bonus um so I'm going to wait till it's completely done before I even start working on the course. I have the outline in place. I just need to create the content. So if you want to find out, um, just uh, you will you can link, you can click on the link to uh, sign up to be notified when that's ready. And I can't wait to uh, to show it to you once it's ready. So uh, I'm excited. I expect some more videos from On One Photo Raw in the near future. I will be doing videos here and there of fun things, little nuggets I find, whether it fits into a workflow or not, because I think the software is fantastic.